everyone so it's super super early five o'clock got out so i can go and catch a train so i can head to sus tunisia then afterwards i can catch a train to go to el jam to visit the famous amphitheater which is probably the second biggest after the amphitheater in rome so let's head out So guys, finally made it to the Colosseum here in uh, El Jam. Uh, it's still a little bit uh, rainy outside, but we're gonna go with the flow and try to catch as much uh, as possible from it. I'm gonna turn around and kind of show you guys, you know, how massive this is. It looks pretty nice right here. It's kind of an uh, amphitheater, a smaller version of a Roman theater, I guess. And then just in front, you got the massive massive El Jam theater which is considered by many the second largest after uh, the one in Rome but there are a lot of debates on which one is the second one either way I'm gonna go inside the train had a 40 minute delay so this barely gives me I'll say around 40 minutes uh, sorry an hour and a half to explore most likely I don't need that much inside, but I was uh, hoping to get a nice, uh, oh, almost tripped, uh, get a nice uh, panorama from somewhere around the city. Uh, found a couple of uh, spots, but I'll probably go afterwards, after I visit the inside and uh, see exactly, you know, uh, what it has for us. But it looks, it looks phenomenal, guys. It's, it's splendid, no doubt, no doubt. Almost 2,000 years old and, uh, yeah, it's just no words can describe it. So if you've been to the one in Rome, you know how massive things are. Check this one out. Kind of blows your mind right from the beginning. Yeah, you can probably not tell the scale just by looking at this video, but it's it's huge no doubt water everywhere it's still raining quite a bit so uh you know we'll make the most of it i was gonna postpone the trip and kind of go uh and kind of arrive tomorrow but uh decided to not give the bird in the hand for the two on the fence so let's see the view Pretty cool, pretty darn cool. It's a big part missing right there, but actually, I think that's an opportunity to give a little insight in the Colosseum if I was to take a panorama. So this is pretty much the top, the highest you can reach. And you can get some really outstanding views from here. Also that uh, street right there where the mosque is in the middle, that would probably be a really, really great spot to take a, a shot. I'll see if I have enough time. That's probably gonna be my only panorama shot that I'll get a chance to uh, take. So right now uh, we're at the base. It looks quite, quite fantastic. So the interesting uh, part of this uh, Colosseum here in El Gem, which uh, I guess on the Roman times it was called uh, Teistrus. Some people have, uh, you know, kind of came to a conclusion or made a best estimate that uh, the proconsul of uh, Africa, uh, Gordian I, was the one that uh, kind of dictated uh, to build the Colosseum since he was a fanatic of sports, entertainment, and, uh, and so on. 
So when you have so many rocks, there's no need to take out the tripod, especially with this type of foreground and background. Everything just seems to just blend so well, well together. And it looks like there's a set of tunnels as well. Again, quite a bit of water. So I'm not sure if you can go through here. Yeah, it's some. Nope, yep, too much water right here. It's packed. Even though uh, you cannot see it here, it's actually complete flooded. There, it looks okay, so. But you never know where it drips from, so. At least we know. There's a complex of tunnels. So guys, even though I mentioned multiple times, if you do have water around you, you know, go for reflections. I always try to shoot reflections, but in this case, the water's a little bit muddy, you know, so you won't get uh, a nice, uh, perfect reflection. But either way, it's an outstanding view. Guys, for uh, a world wonder like this, uh, there is no one here. You know, that's uh, it's quite sad to see. Uh, you know, such a colossal monument, a work of art, and you know, check it out. This is just uh, around the Colosseum. There's nothing around. You know, there's a few shops here and there, but uh, you know, this is such a big recommendation on the list. It's just, it's just outstanding to see. You know, such such beauty. You know, if this was in another place in Europe, it would just gather millions yearly without any doubt. So, made it to the station at exactly 2.15. But guess what? The train is delayed by 30 minutes. So, you know, I rushed for nothing. I had a hunch that it's gonna be delay. You know, at first when I went to the station and saw no train, I said, you know, it left at exactly 12, at exactly 2.15, but that was not the case. Just another delay, like the rest of the trains that I've been on in Tunisia. But, guys, that was it from uh, LGM. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a rush, just because of the delay of my first train getting here. But, either way, beautiful, phenomenal. Definitely, definitely recommend it 100%, 1,000%. Until next time, guys, gratitude should be the only attitude. Peace.